Well, I'm Shaito Atigari, and this entertainment segment, I'm going to be talking about the Nigerian series Blood Sisters that has made Netflix top 10 global list of TV shows with 11 million hours viewed in the first five days of its uh, of its unveiling. Now, written by Craig Freeman, Blood Sisters follows uh, best friends on the run after one accidentally murders the other's abusive fiancé just hours to their wedding. The four-part limited series is directed by B. Bandili and Kenneth Yang, with creator credits to Timmy Dayo, Marco Jola. The series stars Ini Dimao Koje and Nancy Sime in the lead with uh, Kate Henshaw, Kendi Bankoli, Gabriel Afolayon, Daniel Etim Efion, Gwale Ojo, Genoviva Ume in supporting roles. Now, since its premiere, the series has topped the charts in over 20 countries, including the United Kingdom and France. I'm now being joined by newlywed Ini Dima <laughs> to discuss her role in the Nollywood series as well as the Nigerian film industry as a whole. Ini, it is such a pleasure to have you on the show. First of all, I have to say congratulations. Thank you know, the you. first thing when I went, you know, when we got this interview, I was like, hey, I know that she just got married. I'm sure she's stressed. She doesn't want to do this. So thank you so much for coming well, in. I'm happy to now, be um, here. First off, I don't know we're here to talk about blood sisters, mm -hmm. but we have to talk about the most obvious. You got married on Saturday. <laughs> How was that? Especially because of your role in Blood yeah. Sisters. So, you know, kind of going through that and you know, you know, now actually getting married, of course, I know that he did not lay one. <laughs> finger on you or else will kill him what was what, what was that experience been like look i knew obviously i i knew that the release of blood sisters will be in may at some point and obviously i knew i was getting married in may so i'm like wow <laughs> the month of may belongs to me <laughs> i am the month of may you know but i'm, I'm i feel so blessed um I'm trying not to be i'm on cloud nine yeah you couldn't be better like because at the end of the day in life, like you want your career to go well, you want to be happy, and you know, you just want to be in a place of peace. So, right now, like, God is being so good to me, and you know, I'm just, I feel blessed. Yes. To be able to, 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 to put out, you know, blood sisters, to be part of that huge production, and then to be marrying the love of my life. Mm. I don't know. I'm lucky. Yes, you are. <laughs> All right, then, before we go into Blood Sisters, I want, there's a particular video that has been going around that I think is so cute, and I think the whole world uh, deserves to see. So let's take a look at this video from your wedding, and then we'll come back and talk Blood Sisters. Okay. I love it. The chocolate love story. <laughs> yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But let's go straight into Blood Sisters. Now, Ini. This is one of the biggest series on Netflix right now, Nigerian series on Netflix right now. Yeah. And I think the core story of this is really about a woman who finds herself in a very desperate uh, position. Now, yeah. thankfully, that's not your story. But I want to know how you were able to, um, you know, really put yourself in her position. I mean, you really, you really put out this essence of fear and respect and still, you know, showing that this is someone that you wished you could be with but couldn't be with. How did you project uh, that role. So Sarah for me was in two two major phases, you know, because the whole process was very mentally, emotionally and physically um, challenging for her, right? So for the physical aspect, right from the moment she's on the run, I literally had to to lose weight. I had to go on a diet, a zero no zero sugar, zero carb diet and work out every day. Nancy and I did that together just so that physically at that point, because it, the switch was fast and we're literally supposed to look a bit high that because we're on the run. Yeah, with the corn we, rolls, with the corn, you know? know yeah. So that was for the physical aspect. But the even more challenging part for me was the emotional part because I had to be very vulnerable. We're dealing with a very broken woman and we meet her at the point where she's broken. So what I had to do was go back to the beginning and really create a backstory from the day she was born and literally figure out who this human being was, from what school she went to, her friends, the first time she was probably bullied. You know, those, those intricacies that make her a real human being mm. in my mind. And to figure out when this shell of her started, when, when this broken part of her, the origin story of yeah. that, you know? And then obviously I had to do a lot of research on like victims and abusers. And I think the one thing that stuck to me, which makes this whole situation of domestic violence very complex is, it didn't matter if these women were old or younger, mm. it didn't matter if they were successful or unemployed, it didn't matter if they were white or black, 
All these women from different backgrounds were susceptible to domestic violence. And even worse, a lot of them stay, mm. you know. And that's why this whole situation, I'm so happy we touched on it because I know so many people can relate to it. And I really hope that they found strength. Not to go kill anyone, <laughs> but strength to, to speak out and speak hopefully out and, strength. And own their truth. And own their truth. Well, you know, we're going to take a, a short break now. I want to take a quick clip from the, from the series and then we'll come back and continue this chat. Everyone is here. I'm done. The hall is packed full of people that we invite. Someone is going to need to tell them. They came from all over. If you want, I can go and tell them why this wedding is not going to hold. Sarah, listen to me. You will not do this. You hear me? You will not embarrass me, embarrass my family. You will not. I will not marry you. And we are you know, done with this interview, but I just want to quickly throw back to this moment. I don't know if you remember, about eight years ago, mm -hmm. you called me, we had just graduated from school, yes. and you called me, I said, Shayta, I want to do this acting thing, but yes. I don't know where to start. And I said, Ini, just start wherever you can. And I just want to acknowledge this because here you are, married, an actress in one of the biggest series. Here I am doing what I've always wanted to do <laughs> on one of the biggest networks in the world, Arise yeah. News. I just want to, you know, say congratulations. And Thank I know you. that we're only going to keep going forward from Thank here. You. Thank you so Congrats much for coming in. You. Congratulations you for to you me. too. <laughs> Look at <down. laughs> oh